what happens when life happens. You mean to tell me that life happens? Wow. I thought everything was just supposed to be smooth and go exactly the way you want it to go and, you know, no hiccups, no complaints. Just life is just a roses, all roses. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not the world that I live in. <laughs> well, this episode is not necessarily having to do with just being sued by the debt collector because that's just another situation where life happens. So, let me give you a little bit of little story today. I got up really early this morning. I wake up early every day. And this morning, around 5.30 a.m., I got a phone call. And I'm going to try not to cry. So just bear with me. But um, my dad passed away this morning. Suddenly, um, he had been sick, but a heart attack happened today out of nowhere. And I got a phone call that my dad had passed away. And I promised you that I would be transparent. And so if I end up bawling in this episode, you know why <laughs> I'm going through it too. Anyway, so what happens when life happens? Life happened for me today. If you've been sued by a debt collector, which as you know by now, I also have been sued by a debt collector. But what happened? Why did life happen for me? Then I got into a car accident. Lost my ability to provide for myself. Um, ended up being sued by three debt collectors, of which, let's not forget the blessing of that, I still won all three of my cases, and now I'm in a position where I can help somebody else. But what about you? What happens when life happens for you? Well, first I want to say, Give yourself permission to grieve. Grieve your situation. Grieve your experience. Go through, feel the emotion of it. Because until you deal with it, you're not going to be able to move on. So that's the first thing. Feel it. Give yourself permission to be down for a second. Don't stay there. You got to get back up but give yourself permission. What happens um, when we grieve? It feels like things are not going right for us, right? But guess what? Life still goes on. Did you know? Life, life is still gonna go on whether life happens to you or not. So how do you handle that? Well, guess what? If life happens, gravity is not going to change because life happened to you. If life happens, the wind is still going to blow when life happens to you. Clouds are still going to be in the sky. The sun is going to rise. The moon is going to rise. The sun's going to set. The grass is going to grow. And it's not going to stop just because life has happened to you. So what do we do with that? What I learned is you have to find some coping mechanisms, okay? And, you know, when you get sued by the debt collector, it's emotional, and or, you know, you have bill collectors calling you, it's emotional, and it's stressful, and it, it's all of that. That's all well, good, and true. But how do you cope with it? Because at the end of the day, you are in control of what your intended outcome is going to be. Because somebody delivers bad news, it doesn't mean that your life is going to be bad for the rest of your life. Okay? So, how do we cope? How do I cope? How do you cope? Coping. What I always recommend is do something for yourself. When you're feeling bad, something feels bad, something bad has happened, a car accident's happened. Well, at the moment, you can't change that. So don't spend your whole day in agony over it. Understand that, okay, nobody's hurt. 
if nobody is hurt, that's great. Nobody, you know, and move on and then do something for yourself. <laughs> I'm not encouraging this, but some people like retail therapy. For me, I like to accomplish things. I need to go get something done. It, even, it doesn't even have to be big. It could be, you know, go and get the car washed and get the car cleaned up or, you know, reorganize my closet or, you know, in this case, I'm able to show up for you. So showing up for you is therapy for me too. So you need to find a, a coping mechanism. Do something for yourself, whatever it is, however small, go get some ice cream, whatever that is, but do it for you. And then once you've identified, okay, I've got this going on. Now, how do I overcome this? Because like it or not, woe is me is not going to get you to the other side. And a lot of times we need sympathy from others, but we're not going to get it. So what do you have to do to change the dynamic of what you've got going on? What you do is like the tree that's going to continue to grow, you pick yourself up and you continue on in your day. My husband said to me, he had just gotten to work and I called him. I was crying and I was so upset, obviously. And um, he said, you want me to come home? And I said, no. Don't come home. I said, because there's nothing that you can do for me right now. You might as well stay at work. Because I was going to have to make phone calls and I was going to be crying and handle the things that I needed to handle. So he really, you know, I thank him for being, you know, gracious and wanting to comfort me. But it, it wasn't going to help. You know, because I, I needed to feel what I felt. I had experienced the loss. And what I learned is I just have to show up. I still have to show up in life. When you're going through some things, like I'll use a debt collector situation. You know, I had a brain injury when I got sued and it was so bad. And, you know, I grieved when they knocked at my door and said, hey, we're suing you. And it put me in the worst situation, worst possible situation I could be in concerning that particular debt. And guess what? I grieved. I exhaled. I did something for myself. I made myself some coffee. I went for a walk. And I came back and I took the next 30 days and I dealt with my situation. So when life happens, you cannot become immobilized. You have to experience it, do something for yourself, and then it's time to, you know, get up and put your adult, you know, pants on, and you need to start working on your coping. So, I just kind of wanted to drop this in today because no matter what your situation is, you have the ability to overcome it, but don't put yourself in a situation where you don't go through the different stages of your situation or what you're going through. Allow yourself to experience it. You know, give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to cry. I did. Give yourself permission to do something good for yourself or do something good for somebody else. Then, do some coping exercises so that you can keep yourself in check. Sometimes that could be in the form of affirmations. Do some affirmations. And then put your adult pants on and you continue to move on through your day. Okay? So I just wanted to kind of throw this episode at, out there. And um, I decided that if I ended up bawling and in tears. I wasn't going to edit that out because this is a real life situation for me today. So anyway, God bless everybody. This is Terry Jordan Adams. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Sued by the Debt Collector and we'll see you next time. Take care.